Mazda Luce. The Mazda Luce is an executive car that was produced by Mazda in Japan from 1966 until 1991. It was widely exported as the Mazda 929 from 1973 to 1991 as Mazda's largest sedan. Later generations were installed with luxury items and interiors as the Luce became the flagship offering. The Luce was replaced by the Sencha in 1991, which was also exported under the 929 nameplate. Etymology The name Luce was taken from the Italian word for light. SU slash SV series 1966-1973 Following an agreement signed with Bertone in April 1962, the 1965 Luce 1500 show car was designed by Giorgetto Giugiaro of Italy. It was low and sharp, looking more like a contemporary BMW Bavaria than its smaller Mazda companion models, the Familia and the K-Car Carol. The production version SUA started production in July 1966 and launched in August, had a higher roofline but retained the BMW-esque look. It was a front-engine, rear-wheel drive four-door sedan, and featured a square 1490cc 1500 soak engine, producing 78 PS 57 kW at 5,500 rpm and 114.6 N and 84.5 lbft. It sold poorly at 695,000 yen. The 1500 SS version with twin carburetors was introduced in June 1967, producing 86 PS 63 kW at 5,500 rpm and 117.8 N and 86.9 lb FT at 5,500 rpm. A stroked 1.8 liter 1796 cc 1800 engine was added in December 1968. This new model, the Luce 1800, produced 104 PS 76 kW at 5,500 rpm and 152 N and 112 LB FT at 2,500 rpm. To accommodate the taller 1800 engine, the bonnet on this model has a slight bump in the middle with an air inlet on the leading edge. An estate station wagon was also added in April 1967 with the same engine as the sedan Suev. Unlike most commercial vehicles at the time, it was also available with a three-speed automatic transmission. 1500-1800 The loose mark I was sold in Australia and most other export markets under the names Mazda 1500 and Mazda 1800. The Mazda brand entered the United States market in 1970 with just the small Roan 100 but expanded to a full lining in 1971. This included all three of the company's piston-powered models, the compact 1200, mid-size 616, and full-size 1800. The U.S. market 1800 produced 98 HB 99 PS, 73 KW and 146 N, M 108 LB FT and cost U.S. $2280. Performance was sluggish. With a 0 to 60 mph 0 to 97 km slash H time of 17.5 seconds and a 20.5 seconds and 105 km slash H 65 mph quarter mile. Unlike the rotary cars, the 1800 was a flop. Road and Track magazine said it was solid to the point of being overly heavy, with pleasant handling but poor performance. It was gone from the market for 1972. Opposite to what happened in the U.S., in Europe the 1800 had a better performance, with 104 PS 76 kW at 5,500 rpm, SA and maximum torque of 148 N and 109 LB FT at 3,000 rpm, SA for 0 to 60 mph 0 to 97 km slash H. The poor performance of this engine in USA was probably due to fact that in USA the petrol had an octane index of only 85 RON, while in Europe the petrol at the time had an octane index of 95 RON up to. Oh. Also the manual transmission with four gears used in Europe contributed to a much better performance than the three-speed automatic transmission usually used in the US. The 1800 fitted 
with a manual transmission also sold in small numbers in Australia. The number of Mazda 1800 automobiles imported into the U.S. are as follows. 1970-1058 sedans, 937 wagons, 1971-1020 sedans, 1639 wagons, 1972-100 sedans, zero wagons and zero wagons. The 1800 four-door sedan model SBA was produced from October 1968 through March 1973, where a reported 39,401 units were made. An 1800 station wagon version model SAV was added in 1968, lasting until 1970. Roan 130 E30 A rotary-powered loose appeared in 1969. The loose Roan 130 was produced from October 1969 to 1972. It used a 1.3-liter 13 engine, which produced 126 HP 94 KW and 172 N and 127 LBFT. Quarter mile 400 meters performance was 16.9 seconds. This model was styled by Giorgetto Giugiaro, then working for Bertone, as a front-wheel drive two-door coupe with front disc brakes, which was similar to the NSU Row 80. This model, Mazda's only front-wheel drive rotary, is now a collector's item and very rare. Less than 1,000 were built. El Atwo slash El Atri series 1972-1977 Mazda released a second generation El Atwo series loose in November 1972, a rotary-powered model that would be later exported as the Mazda RX-4. The conventionally engined loose sedan El Atwo VS would not arrive to the Japanese market until April 1973, after starting production in March. It was available as a hardtop coupe, formal sedan, custom sedan, and as a station wagon which was also sold as a van in the domestic Japanese market. The original hardtop coupe received a longer, more aggressive front design, which was also installed on the custom sedan. The formal sedan and the van slash wagon received a somewhat shorter front end, which was also used on the export versions 929. For the facelifted L3 model from 1976, only one front design was used, one with a more square design. While the Loose was a large, luxuriously equipped sedan, it still complied to Japanese government dimension regulations, and it wasn't the largest sedan Mazda sold in Japan. That honor went to the short-lived Mazda Road Pacer, which was based on GM Australia's Holden Premier. The El Atwo VV station wagon entered production in September 1973. The wagon lasted until 1979, until being replaced by the Elifer wagon. Two rotary engines were offered, the regular 12 and low-emission AP-13B. There were also piston models available, and van models, for the Japanese market. Engines 1973-1979, 1.8 L1769cc 1800 Eifer, 2 barrel 83 HB61 KW slash 101 LB asterisk FD137 and asterisk M export 110 and 105 PS81 and 77 KW 1974-1977 13B1308 CC 127 HB93 KW slash 138 LB asterisk FD188 and asterisk M are X-4. In most export markets, the Japanese loose rotary sold as the Mazda or X-4. It was a larger car than its rotary-powered contemporaries, the Capella-based RX-2 and Grand Familia-based RX-3. It used the loose chassis, replacing the Roan 130 in October 1972, and was produced through October 1977. Its predecessor, the Roan 130, and replacement the rotary loose legato were not sold in the United States. Mazda marketed the RX-4 as being sporty and luxurious personal luxury car, with the RX-4 having the best of both worlds. This gave Mazda a well-needed boost in the popularity of the Wankel engine unique to Mazda. 
In Japan, the rotary engine variants offered an advantage with regards to the annual road tax bill in that Japanese drivers paid less than the inline engine equivalents while receiving more performance from the rotary engine. The RX Midas 4 was initially available as a hardtop coupe and sedan, with a station wagon launched in 1973 to replace the Savina wagon. Under the hood at first was a 130 or 120 PS 96 or 88 KW 12 engine, with the higher powered version reserved for the 5-speed GR Roman 2 and GS Roman 2 models. The extra power was due to a different exhaust and adjusted ignition timing. The emissions scrubbed AP models had 5 horsepower less, although after June 1973, they received the same power as the regular versions. This was complemented and then replaced by the larger 13B in December 1973, producing 135 PS 99 KW. This model has 125 PS 92 KW for export. This engine was Mazda's new AP for anti-pollution version, with much improved emissions and fuel economy, but somewhat worse cold starting behavior. In South Africa it was produced until 1979, all years only with the AP engine. The car used a strut-type independent suspension in front with a live axle in the rear. Brakes were discs in front and drums in the rear. Curb weight was low at 1188 kg 2620 lb and the wheelbase fairly short at 2515 mm 99 in. The body was freshened in 1976. United States for the United States market. The RX Minus 4 was sold from 1974 through 1978 when the RX Minus 7 debuted. The 13B produced 110 hb 82 kw and 159 n. M117 LB FT in United States emissions form. Base pricing was $4,295, with the automatic transmission $270 and air conditioning $395, the only expensive options. All three Bada styles were on offer in the United States. Road and Track magazine was impressed, noting the car's improved fuel economy and price compared to the RX-3. This was notable, as the Wankel engine had suffered by the mid-1970s with a reputation as a gas guzzler. Performance was good in a 1974 comparison test of six wagons, with an 11.7 sprint to 97 km slash H60 mph and an 18 S slash 77.5 mph quarter mile. The magazine noted, that the wagon's brakes suffered from the extra 136 kg 300 lb weight compared to the coupe. The RX Minus 4 was on road and track magazine's 10 best list for best sports sedan, $3,500, $6,500 in 1975. 929. The first Mazda 929 was introduced in 1973 as an export name for the piston-engined second-generation Mazda Luce. The first-generation Luce had been called the Mazda 1500 or Mazda 1800 in export markets, but as engines of different displacement were beginning to be used across lines, such a naming philosophy would have soon become confusing. The 929 slash Luce was a large for Japan coupe, sedan, and station wagon powered, by a 1769cc Mazda VB engine. Output was 94 PS 69 KW and 137N M101 LBFT. The loose slash 929 was updated in 1975 with an optional 1970cc engine which produced 103 PS 76 KW and 167N M123 LBFT from a two-barrel carburetor. Engines 1973-1977 1.8 L1769cc VB Eifer 2 barrel 94 PS 69 KW 93 HB slash 137N M101 LBFT Ella First Series 1977-1981 The loose legato introduced as the Ella First Series in October 1977 was a large and luxurious sedan, still powered by Mazda's piston or rotary engines. 
It was also available as a four-door pillarless hardtop that looked like a huge square coupe and a wagon which had more of a utilitarian role than the sedans. The coupe was replaced by the Mazda Cosmo CD. Production of the loose 1800 Elifer VS and 2000 Elifer MS sedans started in October 1977, ending in July Elifer VS and September 1981 Elifer MS for the Japanese market. Of the loose rotary sedans, the Ella 42S with the 12 at engine was manufactured between September 1977 and April 1978 while the larger L43, as with the 13 be introduced at the same time lasted, until October 1981. This generation sedan was not sold in North America. It was originally designated as the Loose Legato, but the Japanese automobile industry authorities would not allow for what they considered a name change, and so it was officially sold as simply the Loose. The L for Legato suffix hung on though, with export models receiving the new car as the 929L. Legato is a musical term meaning to make a smooth transition from one note to another. The robotic Mazda Luce Legato became the second generation 929 in 1978 for export markets, often called the 929L. There was no coupe version developed of this generation, although a four-door hardtop body was available in Japan and some other markets, including France. A station wagon was added in February 1979. The design was American-inspired, with stacked rectangular headlights and a large chrome grille. The rather heavy and old-fashioned exterior was made to look even older by having a very up-to-date interior and dashboard. In Europe, a more efficient 2.0-liter inline four producing 90 PS 66 KW with a single barrel carb replaced the existing engines. First presented in Japan in October 1979 was a facelifted L for a version with large rectangular headlights and a more orthodox and European front appearance. The final edition was a 2.2 liter diesel engine produced between August 1980 and July 1981 for the sedan El Afer SS from November 1981 for the wagon El Afer SV. Its output was 66 PS 49 KW and 141 N and 104 LBFT. In October 1980, a fuel-injected 120 PS 88 KW version of the 2-liter engine was also introduced for the Japanese market. It was only available with the hardtop bodywork and full equipment. The 929 was replaced after November 1981 by the next generation Loose 929, although the second generation station wagon continued in production until March 1988 as no wagon replacement of subsequent generations was ever developed. At the time of the generational change, the diesel engine was also installed in the van wagon model only available with the GL equipment level. Aside from the regular piston-engined variants, the 12 or 13B rotary engines were on offer. The piston-engined variants were exported as the Mazda 929. A rotary-engined version was exported to general issue countries and sold as an RX-9. Most RX-9s were sold with the smaller 12 engine. Engines. 1977 1981 1.8 L1769 CC Eifer, 2 barrel 83 PS61 KW82 HB 137 NM101 LB FT, 1977 1981, 2.0 LF MA1970 CC Eifer, 1 barrel 90 PS66 KW89 HB, 1977-1978-12A. 1977-1981-13B, 127PS93, KW125HB-187N and 138 LBFT, 1980-1981, 2.2L diesel, 66PS49 KW, 65HB-141N and 104 LBFT. HB Series 1981-1986 The next generation of Loose was built on the HB platform. 
Production started in October 1981. Exports again occurred as the 929. Japanese customers could purchase the loose or the rebadged Mazda Cosmo sold at an exclusive dealership called Mazda Auto Store. Later in 1991, Mazda Auto locations were renamed Unos. Unlike the loose, the Cosmo was also sold as a coupe, also exported as the 929 coupe. The Luce and Cosmo both offered rotary, gasoline-powered, piston engines, and also a 2.2-liter diesel engine. An LPG-powered, 2.0-liter version of the Luce sedan was also built for the Japanese market until December 1995 for taxi and other fleet usage. This generation, Mazda Luce was known as the Heime HMC 6470L in China, and was produced from 1992. A 2.0 or 2.2-liter engine was available paired to a five-speed manual gearbox. It was a large front-engine rear-wheel drive sedan or hardtop sedan. The Luce was built on the new HB platform, which was now shared with the Cosmo. This version was introduced as the 929 in 1982 in most export markets and produced until 1986. Luces and Cosmos received several differing front end treatments, with export 929s receiving the very statist front end designs for 929 sedans and the sportiest flip up headlight Cosmo design for 929 coupes. No station wagon variant was issued on the HB platform. The previous Elifer remained in production, as a wagon with a new front end, it was essentially the same as the Elifer from the Apiller backwards. This generation vehicle was not sold in North America. In some European markets, the 929 was badged 2000 sedan or 2000 E estate applied to a facelifted version of the previous generation. The turbo version was never offered in Europe, and neither was the four-door hardtop, although parts of Europe bordering on Eastern Europe and the Middle East did receive it. Engines 1981, August 1983 1.8 L1769 cc Eifer, 2 barrel, 100 PS 74 KW 99 HB Japan, 1981 1986, 2.0 L1970 cc MA Eifer, 1 barrel, 90 PS 66 KW 89 HB slash 118 LBFT 160 N M and M. August 1983, 1986, 2.0 L1998 CCFE Eifer, 2-barrel, 101 PS, 74 KW, 100 HB slash 115 LB asterisk FT 156 and asterisk M. August 1983, 1986, 2.0 L1998 CCFE Eifer. Phi 118 PS 87 KW 116 HB slash 126 LB asterisk FT 171 and asterisk M 1986 1987 2.0 L 1998 CCFE TI Turbo 122 PS 89 KW 120 HB slash 150 LB asterisk FT 203 and asterisk M HC Series 1986-1991 The 1986 Luce was large and luxurious on the HC platform, now with the 13B turbo engine as one of many engine options. It was still exported as the 929 and differed from the continued Cosmo. At its introduction in 1986, it was offered with Mazda's first V6 engine, called the Mazda J engine which came as a 2.0 liter, a 2.0 liter turbo, and a 3.0 liter for top level model. The loose Royal Classic and Lesser Spec Limited was more expensive than its 929 counterpart, featuring greater technical innovation. Both were pillowless hard tops. The Royal Classic was factory fitted with a turbocharged 13B rotary or 2.0 liter V6 engines, electric leather seats, digital speed emitter, a cool box for can beverages prominent emblems, electronically adjustable suspension, and power options throughout. In order to satisfy Japanese regulations concerning exterior dimensions and engine displacement, 
This generation vehicle was built in two versions. The 3.0-liter V6 was installed in the longer and wider hardtop body style, and the smaller engines, including the rotary engine, were installed in the shorter and narrower sedan body style. Japanese owners who chose the rotary engine received financial benefits in a lower annual road tax, bill over trim packages, with the larger V6 engine. It was the larger model that carried over to the next platform that introduced the Mazda Sencha. 1991 was the last year of the loose name plate. The Unos Cosmo was already on sale JC, and the HE platform spawned the Mazda Sencha now exported as the 929 and the Athenium Sminus 9, making 1991 the last year for a four-door rotary-powered sedan prior to the RX Sminus 8. In the 1990s, Mazda sold the body stampings to Kaya Motors, who produced the HC series as Kaya Potentia between 1992 and 2001, selling it only in South Korea. The export market 929 was also updated in 1986, 1987 in some markets with the HC platform and a 3.0-liter V6 engine. The car was produced through 1991, again lagging behind its Japan market twin, the Mazda Luce, by one year. The 929 began U.S. and Canadian sales in 1987, although predominantly available as a 3.0-liter V6. There were a rare few that made it to the North American market as a four-cylinder 2.2-liter F2 in a RWD configuration. This generation vehicle was sold in North America in sedan body style only beginning with the 1988 model year. The hardtop was not available, nor were the rotary engines. Actor James Garner was used as a spokesman introducing the 929 to North America. The HC platform came out in two variations during its five-year span that had identical engines and interior but with two distinct body shapes, a pillared four-door sedan as well as a slightly larger pillarless four-door hardtop. While the pillared model was common in all countries that allowed the importation of the 929 including the U.S. and Canada, the pillarless model was predominantly seen in the Asian and Australian market. The Canadian 929 came with a winter package option and included heated seats, a higher grade alternator, winter tires and non-recessed windshield wipers. A five-speed manual gearbox was an option, but most North American 929s were two-mode power and economy electronic four-speed automatic. Top speed was 195 km h 121 mph. A 097 km slash H60 MPH time of 9.2 seconds was recorded using the manual gearbox. The automatics were somewhat slower at 10 seconds. The first 3.0 liter V6 engine seen in the 1986 1989 929 was a single overhead cam type with 18 valves. When Mazda released the higher spec 929S model, for the 1990-1991 period, the engine was upgraded to a double overhead cam type with 24 valves, slightly increasing fuel economy, performance, and reliability. Also in the revised edition came the presence of an anti-lock braking system, ventilated rear disc brakes, and a few inconspicuous changes to the exterior. The standard 18-valve soak remained in the base model 929. After mainstream production ended, in May 1991, the HC remained in production until January 1996 for taxi applications in Japan. Engines 1986-1992.0 L1998cc FE Eifer 1 barrel, 82 PS 60 kW, 81 HB slash 112 LBFT 152 N M M M M M M M Lenin. 1986 1992.0 L1998 CCFE Eifer. 5 116 PS 85 KW 114 HB slash 121 LB asterisk FT 164 NM. 1986 1992.2 L2184 CCF2 Eifer. 1 barrel. 
115 PS 85 KW, 113 HB slash 129 LB FT 175 N M M M N M M M M N M M N M 1986-1992.2 L2184 CC F2 Eifer 5 127 PS 93 KW 125 HB slash 141 LB FT 191 N M N M 1986-1992.2 L2184 CC F2 Eifer 5 136 PS 100 KW 134 HB slash 139 LBFT 188 NM 19.2 KG M non catalyzed 2.0 LJFT V6 5 110 PS 81 KW 108 HB slash 126 LB FT 171 N MJDM only lingling, M only lingling, M only lingling, only lingling, only lingling. 2.0 LJFT V6, Phi turbocharged, 146 PS 107 KW, 144 HB slash 173 LB, FT 235 N MJDM only lingling, MJDM only lingling. 1986 1990s 3.0 L2954 CC J V6 5 158 PS 116 KW 156 HB slash 182 LB asterisk FT 247 NM 3.0 LJ V6 5 190 PS 140 KW 187 HB 259 NM 191 LB FT Kaya Potentia. When the HC series loose was replaced with the Mazda Sencha, it continued to be manufactured in South Korea at Kaya H. Wasson plant as the Kaya Potentia. The Potentia was produced from 1992 until 2001 using the 2.0 liter four cylinder Mazda Fidok engine, which was the same as used in the first generation Kaya Sportage gasoline version. Of it. The V6 model was called the President Trim Level. The potential was replaced by the Kaya Enterprise, which was based on the Mazda Sencha and introduced in 1997 after the Sencha was cancelled.